Star Wars Battlefront 2 has some of the most iconic heroes and villains from the franchise. They're all different with their own playstyles and each have their own unique abilities. If used right, these abilities can be chained together in combos to see very powerful results, and we're going to go over those combos today. This is 10 hero and villain ability combos in Battlefront 2. Welcome back to the Star Bazaar ladies and gentlemen, and to another Battlefront 2 tips and tricks video. If you're new to the channel, here we do news updates on Battlefront 2, as well as discussions and other tips videos like this, so if that's the kind of stuff you're looking for, consider subscribing and clicking the bell to get notified. We're going to jump right into these combos, and the way it's going to work is like this. I've got 5 combos on the light side, and 5 combos on the dark side, and we'll just alternate between each one as we go through. We're ending it on a disgusting combo with Darth Vader, so be sure you stick around until the end for that, because it's mean. You'll like it. We're going to start with his son, Luke though, and if you've watched any streams here at the Bazaar, you'll know how much I love Luke's Rush and Repulse combo. The idea is to spot a group of enemies, and use the Rush ability to put yourself in the middle of them, then you use Repulse to finish off anybody you hit with the Rush. The Rush will deal 100 base damage, and the Repulse will finish the job. It's a great combo for clearing out crowds, and works especially well on the second phase of Starkiller Base in Galactic Assault, and other close quarters maps like the Death Star. The Rush should always come first, because if Repulse starts the combo, you'll just knock the crowd away and you won't get those sweet multi-kills. Yes, this is arcade footage, but the principle still applies in multiplayer. In fact, it works as intended in multiplayer, since force powers don't always one-shot, like they do in arcade. Next up, we have Darth Maul, with a combo that I love using myself, a chokehold to Furious Throw. Before he got his change to the Saber Throw, this combo would deal more damage, but it was harder to pull off. Now that his throw is at a horizontal angle, it's easier to pull off the combo, but it's a little bit weaker instead. It's still strong, and it can deal a quick 200 damage or more to an enemy, and it will net you some good points if used on a crowd. Equipping the Star Card to boost the Furious Throw's damage might be a good idea too, since the throw will deal damage on both the delivery and return, and the bonus damage applies to both hits. I know a lot of people stayed away from Maul's Saber Throw because it was so hard to use before, but now that it's changed, give this combo a try. It is a lot of fun. Han Solo is next, with a mean combo that will keep his targets knocked down and defenseless, letting him deal more damage and most likely finishing them off. The idea is to hit them with the Detonite Charge, which will cause massive damage and knock them back, and while they're recovering from that knockdown, you hit them with the Shoulder Charge, which will just knock them down a second time, letting you follow up with either regular shots or even Sharpshooter if you can line it up. The damage output is insane, and it's a neat combo because you can either trap your opponent by using yourself as bait with the explosive at your feet, or you can be more aggressive with the bomb by throwing it at them. Either way, following up with the shoulder is fun, and the kills are satisfying. General Grievous is next, and this combo would be amazing if it weren't for the fact that Thrust Surge is very unreliable at the best of times. But besides that, Claw Rush and Thrust Surge are meant to work together, with both having a knockdown and both closing the distance on your target. Normally, I like to use Claw Rush first to knock them down, then follow up with Thrust Surge to knock them down again, then use regular attacks to finish them off. Sometimes though, you can use Thrust Surge first to knock them away, then chase them back down with the Claw Rush. If they didn't go too far, you can usually hit them before they get back up and score the kill. This combo deals a good chunk of damage, and can keep an enemy hero like Anakin busy for a little while. Next up we got Lando, and while I wasn't a fan of his Disabler for the longest time, mostly because it was always used against me, that ability complements his Sharp Shot very nicely. If used on a crowd, the Disabler will stun them, giving Lando time to line up all of his targets and take them out with Sharp Shot. The multi-kill ability is easy to use and definitely does not need the Disabler to work. The idea is just that the stun effect keeps Lando safe from his targets while he takes the time to line up. Just like the loot gameplay, this is arcade, but this combo will also work in multiplayer, since the Sharp Shot is a strong enough ability to one-shot all of the base trooper classes, including the Heavy. All these combos are made with multiplayer in mind, some just work better for hero modes and others for large scale. This one happens to work well in both. 
Count Dooku is next, and this combo involves his exposed weakness and duelist abilities, which actually brings us our first combo that does not directly cause damage to your enemy. This combo is all about the buff to yourself from Duelist and the debuff to your target from Exposed Weakness. Duelist increases the damage from your lightsaber attacks and makes them faster, and Exposed Weakness makes your target take more damage. While these effects are powerful on their own, if you couple this combo with the right star cards, you can melt virtually any hero in seconds. Keep in mind that this combo only works on one target at a time and isn't the best when faced with a crowd. It's definitely more geared towards heroes versus villains and hero showdown, but if you've got a problem Anakin or Rey destroying your team in the large scale modes, this combo can really save the day. Speaking of Rey, she's next, and her combo is the only other one on this list that does not cause direct damage to the target. Now this one is unique because it only works with a certain star card setup, ideally with the Deep Mind and Opportunist star cards. With these cards, any target Rey uses her mind trick on will be under its effects for longer if she had them revealed with Insight first. The idea is to activate Insight, then use Mind Trick on your target. The Deep Mind Star card will make the Mind Trick last longer, and Opportunist makes it so enemies affected by Mind Trick will take more damage. This one will drive the villains crazy, with inverted controls for a longer while, plus bonus damage while they're inverted. This one's mean, but it is effective. Kylo Ren is after Rey, and this combo is great in Galactic Assault for racking up quick kills and clearing out objective points for your team. Pull grabs enemies and brings them closer in a group, and then Frenzy eliminates them one by one. If you happen to pull a pretty big group of enemies and you won't be able to get them all, the Freeze can come in handy here to save you and keep the target still while you finish with Frenzy, then you can take out the frozen enemies after. If you find yourself facing a lot of heavies, it might be wise to attach the Harsh Pull Star Card, so that the pull will do a base 60 damage, and Frenzy is guaranteed to finish them off with just a single hit. Otherwise, I recommend giving the pull more range, so that you can get those troops who are just out of reach. Chewbacca has the last tip for the light side, and it's a doozy, combining all three of his abilities to great effect. The way it works is you first pop Furious Bowcaster up so that you have it ready, and then you use Charge Slam to cause damage and knock your target down. Then you follow up with the Shock Grenade to stun them and wrap it up with shots from Furious Bowcaster. It causes huge damage and even has some good crowd control with the Stun Grenade and Slam. There's a Star Card that lets the grenade split off and have a wider radius, which might be a good one to have equipped when pulling this combo off. This one is definitely more for Heroes vs. Villains and Hero Showdown, since, in my opinion, Chewie still isn't that great in Galactic Assault, but he's surprisingly not bad in Capital Supremacy, where you could use this and take care of enemy villains. And finally, we have Darth Vader, with a devastating and pretty advanced combo involving his choke, a jump attack, and his saber throw. First, you grab your targets in the choke, causing damage and getting them grouped in one spot. I like to equip the last gasp star card to make the choke last longer for this. Then right as the choke ends, you jump toward the target and hit them with a jump attack while at the same time rotating your camera 180. Then you throw your saber throw down to where they land. It's so fast that the saber throw connects before they can recover from your jump attack. You want to have a relatively high sensitivity for this, around 45 to 50 as a minimum so that you can turn the camera quickly during the jump. The reason you jump attack is because while choking a target, their hitbox is above you and you usually miss a regular attack. With the jump, you're able to hit them and then quickly pull off the saber throw before they can recover. It's disgusting. It's amazing. Try it next time you play HVV. And that is 10 ability combos you can do with the heroes in Battlefront 2. Which one of these was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and if you liked the video today, hit that thumbs up button. Longtime players may have known some of these already, but these tips are designed to help new players and veterans alike, so if you want more Battlefront 2 tips like this, consider subscribing and joining us for more. That's going to do it from me. I appreciate you all stopping by the bazaar. This has been your boy, Turkish Delight, and I'll see you all out on the battlefront. Peace!